Hi, this is Gugu from Ribbon, and I'm going to run you through our basic public health incentive app that pays out incentives um, or rewards in an ERC20 token to patients and practitioners within public health settings. So we start initially by logging into our MetaMask. Okay, I've logged into my wallet. And it's in this instance, we've got, we're on the Rinkabit test network. We've got test ETH and we've created our own stable coin, a ribbon token, okay. Um, however, in future, we will use DAI as the standard commercial um, stable coin. Okay, so we log into our app. And, and we get to our dashboard. So our app basically has three users. I am like the power user, so I would be a community health worker whose role and duty is to record the healthcare interactions between a patient and a health practitioner, which could be a doctor and nurse, okay? So the three users are, I myself is the power user, which is the community health worker, then the patient and the practitioner. And I have access to record new patients. And when we record new patients, by the way, we kept our basic details, patient number, first name, last name, um, and the phone number of the patient. It's important to note that when we create the phone number, it automatically links um, the, phone, the cell phone number to a, an, a public address pair. Um, that's a wallet address pair for the patient, right? In this instance, we were managing that custodially, okay? So in future, all payments will really be paid out to mobile phones. So the system would work on a mobile platform where payments seem to pay out to a mobile number, but it's actually paying out to a public address. All right, for progress purposes, I'll go straight to the action, okay? And I, as a community health worker, basically would capture these interactions uh, between a patient and a practitioner, okay? And let's select, so we'd have pre, would create our patient's prior, okay? And let's select Jenny Jones, who I've just created for this purpose. And let's select a practitioner, where is Dr. Doolittle, who I've created for this purpose, okay? And let's assume that um, Jenny is gone for a blood pressure check, um, as well as, um, an injection of some sort and pharmacy they've also collected like a prescription and let's assume that they connected amoxicillin and perhaps aspirin okay and now the I as the community health worker would allow Jenny to rate her patient experience of care okay so this is rating the healthcare institution as well as the service that she got and it's a very basic rating system that rates the access to healthcare services, the medicines, so this is the pharmacy side, the patient safety, did she feel safe here? Yeah. Um, the cleanliness, maybe the place was spotless and the values of the staff, maybe the staff had terrible values and attitude and patient wait, waiting time, maybe Jenny waited quite a bit, okay? So we record the interaction and you'll see that it, it, it processes the transaction, okay? Um, so because we're paying out um, incentives to three users, we actually process three transactions. That's to myself as a community health worker, to the patient and to the healthcare practitioner, okay? Um, you'll see that it automatically writes this, um, there's still a little bug on our system, so it's, it's got multiple entries. Um, but let me refresh it so that it sorts it out. Yes, my internet connection is very slow. But as you can see, the transaction are writing to the test net anyway. And we'll get to that shortly. Okay. So here we go. Here's the transaction that I've just written now, Tuesday the 10th of September, to J between Jenny Jones and Dr. Doolittle. And it was blood pressure, an injection, and a pharmacy drug collection. 
Okay, so let's look at what Jenny Jones earned. So as we can see, Jenny Jones earned a balance of 30 um, ribbon tokens for that uh, interaction. And we can check that transaction on Etherscan. Uh, in this instance, we have to select our ribbon token. But as I say, it's gonna be die. Excuse me. Um, there we go. This happened a minute ago, and this is what was done. So it's written it to the public ledger. Okay. Um, let's have a look at what Dr. Doolittle earned. Okay. So Dr. Doolittle earned 3.5 tokens. So in this instance, we've, we've used a ratio, okay, where um, the health practitioner will automatically earn 10% of the incentive. And then the other 5% is calculated based on the, 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 the rating score. So from that calculations, the doctor earned only 3.5 tokens, okay? And let's have a look at that on Etherscan. And there you go. That's the transaction for uh, the doctor. Okay. And as you can see, that's the doctor's um, address. Okay. Now let's go back to our wallet. Okay. And just have a look at those transactions. Okay. As you can see, we through that transaction, we transferred, we transferred 30 uh, incentive tokens to the patient and 3.95 to the practitioner. And I, as the community health worker, earned 4.5, which is a, a fixed 15% um, as a community health worker. And my balance would actually accumulate over there. I think it's a bit slow um, at the moment, but we can go and check it on Etherscan. So that's my transaction as the community health worker. And this is what I've earned. As you can see, I've earned 4.5 tokens. So we can look at my address and let's see my cumulative balances. Yeah, as you can see, I've been doing all these transactions at the community health worker and this is what I've earned, okay. Now, the beauty about the system is that it actually creates employment for community health workers in emerging economies um, and creates a way to actually um, give them a, a, a system within which they can operate within public health settings. That actually doesn't exist in most African countries. It doesn't exist in a lot of places in the world. So this would be a first. Um, the challenge is we need to build a, a way for all these users, the patients and the practitioners, um, as well as the community health worker, a low cost way of them um, getting them to interact with their tokens and transact and now start to you know, use their tokens in retail stores or howsoever, peer to peer transfers, etc. cetera. Um, so we need to build out like a simple USSD system um, due to the cost of, and the knowledge barrier to, um, accessing crypto. All right, thank you.